welcome to Montreal, our hometown, where we're doing a Comic Book Orange Convention Edition, Part 2. What would you give five oranges to? Killing Joke. The Alan Moore Killing Joke. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, you know, I'm thinking also Watchmen, but The Killing Joke is more compact and somehow the art is very uh, virtuoso of that thing. So it's a combination of art and writing. But uh, yeah, the Watchmen also gets a lot of oranges. <laughs> well, one, one particular book, and it happens to be a big book, tabloid size, it was Superman versus Muhammad Ali, uh, illustrated by Neil Adams, one of my favorites. When we come back, we'll interview Mark Tixera and feature Andy Riley. Blasting into space on your homemade jetpack? 30 bucks. Pretending to shoot your friend over a ham sandwich? 15 bucks. Making a movie for less than an appetizer in LA? Priceless. For some things, there's Hollywood. For everything else, there's Indie Mogul. Which comic book would you give a five orange rating to? Of all time? Of all time. Well, The Killing Joke was one of my favorite. Um, That's hilarious. That we five. just got that answer. Really? From who? Uh, Yannick. Okay. You can keep it. Yeah, you can keep it. So why Killing Joe? Yeah, no, it's Joke? just one of those books that uh, qualities and uh, and the uh, the weight. I remember there was such a talk about this thing before it even happened. The five year long wait, and when it finally came out, it was so much worth the wait. But you know, there have been other series also. Dave McKean on Black Orchid. I give that a five, and several others. You know. Barry Smith's Red, Red Nails, a 10. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just legendary. Um, but no, there, there are quite a few other books. You know, Return to Captain America back in Starankel's days in the 70s, that was a five. I mean, there have just been pinnacles in, 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 in storytelling that have just been amazing. Being here at the Montreal Comic Con reminds me of when I met Andy Riley at the San Diego Comic Con. And last question, you are at the Comic-Con, so do you, are, do you like comics? What, and if so, what do you like? Yeah, I, was, I was just doing a signing up there. I, I, I did a book called um, The Book of Bunny Suicides a few years ago. It's just a, an entire book of rabbits killing themselves. I know you! Bunnies are adorable. They're also very suicidal. And as documented in The Book of Bunny Suicides in its sequel, bunnies are very creative at killing themselves. Andy Riley fills page after page of his two books with funny sight gags, brilliant setups, clever twists, and an occasional strip here and there. Granted, you must be like us, having a pretty sick sense of humor and being able to get plenty of references to nerdcore favorites like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, but who isn't? It's a short but fun read, so we give The Book of Bunny Suicides and Return of Bunny Suicides 3 out of 5 oranges. Well, that's it for this week. Remember to leave your own reviews at comicbookorange.com or leave us comments at Pulp Secret or on YouTube. Thank you so much. All right. That's all? Unless you have something else to add. No. No? Cool. Nothing? Nothing secret? No, the, secrets no secrets will be revealed. He's got a secret. Uh, yeah, 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 y